Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Doreen with Fusion Pilates, and lots of times we work with an elderly population, and you'll see that as people get older, their gait tends to get smaller and smaller until their feet are barely leaving the floor. There's definitely no hip extension going on, and it becomes more of a shuffle going forward, which is actually more dangerous than actually stepping because it's much easier to trip if you're dragging your feet on the ground and they're barely leaving. So even a little pebble could cause a stumble. So you want to think of getting people to realize that their hips and glutes are not just there to fill up their jeans, right? Hips and glutes serve a purpose. And in a gait pattern, hip extension is what should propel you forward, just like if you were oaring in a boat. When you push the water back, the boat moves forward. When we push back with the leg, the body should go forward. However, many people have lost that ability because they've lost any kind of strength in their hips. So there's no more push in the back, which is why some people just feel what's going on in the front of their body. So a very good exercise to do to start to get people to gain a little bit more strength. And you can do this with a chair. That's why it's good for elderly population. You can do this placing a hand on the wall or using poles if the stability is not good. Is pressing into the foot to float the other leg off. And just stay here. And you'll start to feel after a few seconds that if they're finding the connection into the glutes, they will start to feel activity in here. And it might take a few times because many times people just have a hard time figuring out how to get into that position. And I'll see, okay, this happening. So you've got a lot of side body crunching, which you don't want to have happen. You actually want the pelvis this is my right side and my left side, one side to lift off the ground so that when we're standing on that stationary leg, there's actual activity in the glutes, right? And you can do that with a chair. Make sure the chair has a high back so that they're not trying to bend forward at the same time because then that's gonna start to get more into the hamstring. But just staying in that one position and just letting this other leg swing because when we go to take a step, you do want to have the pelvis lift slightly so it goes into that list so then the leg can swing through and not have to bend and lift, which is taking you into more hip flexion in front of the body activity. So having some strong gluteal muscles as we age is very, very good for self-efficacy. We want to be able to also put on our own socks, sit down into a chair, get up in a chair, Another way to practice having those glutes work is going into the chair, but then getting back up out of the chair without using arms and legs and hands and feet and any other little prop that you can find. So again, pressing down into one leg, floating the other guy up. And it's okay if the toes tap down every once in a while. You're also working on the stability. And once these glutes get stronger, you'll probably have a lot better ankle stability as well. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.